Hi everyone, this is Tim from Mile High Themes, and in this video I'm just going to quickly run through how to structure your product page and also talk a little bit about using custom product templates. So I'm looking at a standard product page that we have in our Showtime demo. This will be similar in our other themes, but for this particular video we're looking at Showtime. As you can see, we've got kind of basic product information up here at the top where the cart button is and some other stuff. And then we have some sections down below using the new sections everywhere functionality that comes with online store 2.0 and the latest version of our themes. So I'm just going to briefly show you how this is set up and how you can control how this looks. So over here, I have a clean dev version of the theme that I'm going to be messing around with. I'm going to click customize here. And I'm going to use this drop down to go to a product page. Now you'll notice that there could be a few custom product templates in here already in your theme version, but we're just going to look at the default product for now. And this is what every product page in your store will look like out of the box. So for our default product template for this particular theme, we've added a few sections already. And then this, uh, this information obviously will be there on every product page and it will update to show the details of that particular product. So we have an image with text section here. We have some recommended products and we have a gallery down here. So first of all, we're just going to talk about the right side here of this product information. You see that there's this product information section here that you can toggle on and off and there's all of these different features enabled. Product title is obviously the title, price, variant selector, all of that's pretty standard. You've got a stock status here. You'll notice that you can turn these on and off, turn off the display. If you click on one of them, you'll see this option to remove the block over here and then some additional settings will show up over here. You can drag these around to put things in different positions. Like if you wanted the stock status to appear right below the product title, you can drag it so it appears there. If you wanted to add some additional features that are included with your theme, you can click add block and then you see all the different options. In this case, there's quite a few different things you can add to lay out this area of the product page. We'll talk about a few of them here. So you can see that um, most of these are pretty straightforward as far as determining what it is. If you wanted to add a custom text box, there is a quantity selector, pickup availability um, if you allow your customers to pick up the products at your store. Um, product rating would be if you're using the Shopify Reviews app. You can add some accordions of text. So if you have a long block of text that you want to show for the product description, you can show it in an accordion. We've got several different methods of accordions here. Just regular text, you can show page content, you can create a specifications guide. You can just show the product description in an accordion, or you can show a contact form if you want users to be able to ask questions. We've got a pop-up that you might use for a size guide or something like that. Some trust icons, custom images, specifications, lots of different things to play around with. So you can add these as needed. Let's go ahead and add an accordion for description. And this is just going to show your product description in an accordion here. So that's kind of a handy way to do it, especially if you have a really long description. So again, you can drag and drop these around. You can add additional blocks. So it's very flexible. And this should be the case in any of our themes. There should be quite a few different options to play with here. So you can see how that works. And then if you select one of them, for example, I selected variant selector, I can choose if I wanted these to display as drop-down menus, or I can have them display as buttons. If you enable the buttons in this particular theme and you've selected variant images for all of your variants, then the image will also show in these buttons. So that's a handy way to distinguish between colors and other options. So with that being saved, I'm going to move on to look at the sections a little bit. We have another video on creating custom templates, but we'll briefly cover it again here just in case. So with the online store 2.0 features, you now have the ability to add sections to every product page or every other page for that matter. 
In this case, you can see we've got some different, the product information is obviously just the, the information that's associated with the particular product you're on. All of these other sections would be static. So if we populated this image with text section, for example, with an image and some text and save this, since we're dealing with the default product option, everything down here would be static and would show the same thing on all the products. So you'd see the same image here, you'd see the same text here. If you didn't want to do that, then you could create a custom product template. To do that, you can just click this drop down menu, again, go to products and click create template. So you probably want to do this before you start making a bunch of changes to your default product page, because by default, the product page will probably be pretty basic and won't have a lot of sections because you may not need those. So first create a custom template. We'll call this custom product four. It's because I think we have a couple other ones in here already. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. I'm going to base it on the default product. So it just basically creates a duplicate duplicate of the current product template I'm looking at. And now I can play around and not have to worry about affecting every single product in my store. So now I can go ahead and add new sections to this. Let's add a gallery. Let's add a background video, for example. And I'm not going to just populate all these, but of course, if you wanted to, you just click on the actual heading of the section for the global settings for that section. And then you can click on the blocks in here to change the settings, select your images and other settings, depending on what kind of section it is. So let's go ahead and save this. And now there's one final step before we can start seeing these, these changes on any products. We need to go ahead and assign this template that we just created custom product for to the products that we want to assign it to. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here. And I'm going to go to products in here. So uh, up here, I'm going to choose a product. I'll just choose this bold placemats. And over here, you can see that right now it's using the default product template. I'm going to go ahead and assign custom product four to that and save. And now if I go and view this product, you'll see all those custom You'll choose all those settings that I set over here, including the description being an accordion. You've got all the sections that we added just now, including the hero background video, and that will appear. So if you like, you can now apply this to multiple products. Just know that this information, including the image and text and whatever we select for all of these is going to be sa the same for all of the products that have that template assigned. If you wanted to have this same design, but have different content for these, then you would have to duplicate the template and create a unique one for each product. There's also other ways to do this using meta fields, which I discuss in another video about creating custom dynamic sources. So check our video gallery for that. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to our support staff at support.milehighthemes.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.